there. How are you doing? I'm Oli. This is my friend Topher. And we invite you to go on an expedition to a faraway planet, Earth. Why are we going so far? These months we are the best students in our class, and we've won the right to do an extremely exciting research work. Our teacher, Mr. Griezmann, chose the place. Mr. Griezmann, 145 years old, the oldest and most experienced teacher of the Grammarland School. He's got an ability to create extremely interesting and unusual grammar tasks. Grammarland school students enjoy Mr. Griezmann's lessons most of all. Yes, that's him. So, the topic of our research work is How do earthlings live? By the way, Earthlings are the citizens of Earth. And by the end of our expedition to Earth, we'll be able to describe the position of different objects using the construction there is, there are, build positive, negative, and interrogative sentences with there is, there are, Correctly. So, are you ready to start our journey down to Earth? Let's start off then. Here we are. What a nice place this Earth is. I'm lucky to have a chance to explore it a little. Oli, what house may we come into? Tofa, be careful. People shouldn't see you. They don't know we're here. Let it be so. Look, the boy is leaving his house. Aha, uh -huh. he's left the window open. This earthling is kidding himself if he thinks nobody will use it instead of the front door. Let's get in, Topher. Follow me. This is a bedroom as far as I can see, but it's a bit different from mine. Look and compare. There is a grey and white rug in the middle of this bedroom. There is a maroon and yellow rug to the left of my bed. Oh, by the way, have you got what maroon color is? Maroon is dark red. I.e., I can say, there is a dark red and yellow rug to the left of my bed. Look, there is a floor lamp next to this bed. And is there a floor lamp in your bedroom, Topher? No, there isn't. There is not a floor lamp in my room. There is a mobile lamp in my room, and it's much better. Look, there is a control panel in my room. I just enter all the needed data, and my lamp moves according to them by itself. Oli. Have you noticed there is not any control panel in this room? How do they live here? Do they do everything by hand? I suppose yes. Poor earthlings. There is also a mobile desk chair in my room. 
Now it is in front of the desk. And look. Now it's above my bed. I like to fly it while thinking over something. Is there a desk chair in this bedroom? Yes, there is. There is a blue desk chair in front of the desk. But it's an unusual one. Look, what is there under the seat? Something round. Ouch, it's rolling. Look at me, Tov. I'm rolling on the desk chair. Here we are. Do you see? There is a bookcase next to the desk in this living room. Can you imagine that earthlings still use them? It's a real antique. They disappeared centuries ago on Grammarland. Oh, my dad would have loved to see it. You don't say. We don't need books on Grammarland anymore. Look. There is an interactive window above my bed. It shows me everything I ask for. Show me the weather forecast, please. Or show me, please, English grammar book, page 45. Then I sit down into my desk chair and fly to read the rule. Guys, look at the rule. We have to complete it with the correct information. Hope you were attentive while comparing the bedrooms. Answer a few questions, please, to complete the table. So, the rule is about the construction is used in the English language to describe the position of different objects. What construction do we use with this purpose? Of course, it's there is zero. Do you remember why we see two forms of the verb to be here, is and are? If we describe the position of one thing, we say there is a, and we place the position at the end of the sentence. If we speak about the position of two or more things, we start our sentence with there are, and again put the position at the end of the sentence. Let's see whether we are right or not. There is a flower in the room, and there are three flowers in the room. Pay attention that sometimes we can use contractions, i.e. short forms. So, there is, he has got another form, there's. The letter I is left out, and we use apostrophe instead. There doesn't have any contraction. To build a negation, we put the negative particle not after is or are. Compare. There is not a tree in the room. Or the short form is isn't. And there are not any trees in the room. Or the short form is aren't. And if we want to ask a question, we put is or are in front of there. Is there a rug in the room? Are there any rugs in the room? It's time to play! Now, look at the room for 15 seconds as attentively as you can. Now, click the correct answer.
Is there a beige blanket on the bed in that room? Yes, there is. Or no, there isn't. Yes, there is. There is a beige blanket on the bed in that room. Are there few books in that bedroom? Yes, there are. Or no, there aren't. No, there aren't few books in that bedroom. There are many books in that bedroom. Is there a bin in that bedroom? Yes, there is or no, there isn't. Yes, there is. There is a bin in that bedroom. Oli, I think we can go home now. So do I. And I'm glad to admit that now we can. Describe the position of different objects using the construction there is, there are. Build positive, negative and interrogative sentences with there is, there are correctly. Join us in our new grammar expeditions. Bye!